The project came to me by way of Kathy Kennedy and Barry Mendel, who had just started developing it based on a book written in the early 80s by George Jonas called Vengeance. And the story just was, you know, one of the most compelling dramas and made an indelible impression on me. When we decided we wanted to tell this story, we turned to the most credible account we could find, and in fact, the only account that offers an extensive history of Israel's covert response to Munich that looks at the mechanics of assassination was George Jonas's book, which has, by the way, been in print since 1984, and it's never been discredited. It's been attacked by various people, by ex-Mossad agents and even one of the black September terrorists, but being attacked isn't the same as being discredited. Plus, we did our own research, and I'm very comfortable with having used the book as a source. The operation that we're describing in our film was a completely covert operation. We know it took place. We know the people we describe in the film were killed as part of the operation. And until secret files get opened up, uh, the details of the hit squads, this is going to remain obscure, and that's where imagination and filmmaking can really step in. Are we on or off? Although there's a couple of facts that are indisputable. One is that the athletes were massacred in Munich. And number two, Golda Meir made her decision to go after those responsible for killing the athletes. And three, a significant number of those who were thought responsible were killed. And those are indisputable facts. The book Vengeance, as I've said, if it was an historical novel, I would still want to make a film based on it because the story is so ultimately compelling. The drama is so compelling. And there are some very interesting lessons that emerge from this story. This is not a documentary. It's not made to be a documentary. It's a story based on something that actually happened in history. And it's not an effort to do everything and to be a crisp portrayal of exactly what happened, because even in George Jonas's book, not everything is made crystal clear. We're Jews, Evan. We're supposed to be righteous. That's a beautiful thing. That's Jewish. That's what I knew, that's what I was taught. You should make no mistake that I am not attacking Israel with this film. In no way, shape, or form am I doing that. This is a very, very tough subject, and we've decided to approach it honestly and unsparingly. This film is an attempt to look at policies Israel shares with the rest of the world, and to understand why a country feels its best defense against a certain kind of violence is counter-violence. And we try to understand this as filmmakers through empathy, because that's what you do. You extend empathy in every single direction because you can't understand the human motivation without empathy. This movie is not an argument for non-response. And, and on the contrary, what this movie is showing is that a response that may be the right response is still one that confronts you with some very difficult issues. And when we have to respond to terror today, What's relevant is the need to go through a careful process, not to paralyze ourselves, not to prevent us from acting, but to try and ensure that the results that we produce are the ones that we really intend. I mean, it's the unintended, you know, results that are probably some of the worst and that are ultimately going to really bedevil us. Did we accomplish anything at all? Every man we kill has been replaced by worse. Why cut my fingernails? They'll grow back. Did we kill to replace the terrorist leadership or the Palestinian leadership? You tell me what we've done. What you see in this movie is not an attempt to answer should there be targeted killings or not. What I'm doing with this movie is highlighting some of the dilemmas and highlighting some of the issues that need to be discussed. I'm not trying to answer them, but the movie in a sense, apart from being a human drama, which explores what these guys went through, will hopefully stir that discussion. Do you want to know, Mama? Do you want me to tell you what I did? <laughs>